Australian citizens are also preparing to roll up their sleeves as the COVID-19 vaccines have arrived. The national rollout will feature vaccines from Pfizer and AstraZeneca. More on this story from Gold Coast correspondent Celine Ryan Andrews. Celine? The first COVID-19 vaccine touches down in Australia. Queensland plans to start vaccinating on the Gold Coast against coronavirus on Monday. The Queensland government says that if the Commonwealth distributes the Pfizer vaccine this weekend, the Gold Coast University hospitals will be the first to receive the jab. From there, up to 10,000 people per week will start being vaccinated over the next month, but the Premier said that the rollout will be very slow. There will be 100 vaccinations performed on the Gold Coast on Monday and then vaccines will be distributed to the Princess Alexandra Hospital on Wednesday and then Cairns on Friday. There will be five phases of the vaccinations of which the public will take. Phase 1A will be for the frontline healthcare and quarantine workers and residents in care facilities, including intensive care units, emergency departments, pathology staff, fever and respiratory clinics, and any frontline responders. The estimated population is 125,000, which equals to 250,000 doses. Phase 1B will be individuals with higher risk such as elderly adults aged over 70, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders aged over 50, younger adults with medical conditions and those with disabilities, and other healthcare workers. This estimated population will be almost 1.1 million, equaling up to 2.1 doses. The Phase 2A of vaccinations will be for individuals with moderate risks. These are adults aged 50 to 69 years and other critical high-risk workers. Phase 2B will be the balance of the adult population and a catch-up of any unvaccinated Australians from the previous phases. These in total equal up to around an estimated population of 2.6 million and 5.5 million doses. Phase 3A will be children and young adults under the age of 18 if recommended. The Premier has said that no one will be left unvaccinated by October. The public will be made aware when the vaccine will become available to them and then they are able to book online to receive theirs. Only a small cohort of the population, such as pregnant women and women that are breastfeeding. Things are starting to brighten up here in Australia, and as a country, we are proud to show how united we are in these tough times. Reporting from Gold Coast, Australia, I'm Celine Ryan Andrews, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Thank you, Celine. We'll be watching attentively once the rollout begins.